Hey everybody, we are quarantine day 9,429, I think, but we are still going. Everybody is good, we're healthy, and home. So today we are going to do a lesson on Notan art. Notan is the combination of light and dark used in Japanese art. The style was introduced to Europeans in the 1800s. It is a concept used in a variety of types of art. The main concept of a good design in Notan has a balance of both light and dark. So we're going to get started today making a simple notan design using um, white paper, black paper, a pencil, scissors, and a glue stick. To get started, we're going to create a small square using our black piece of paper. So I cut my construction paper in half, so this is half of a piece of a construction paper, and then I folded it to so that one corner is meeting up with the edge of the black paper and then I'm gonna this is gonna be my square. So I'm gonna use my scissors and cut this out. So now we have a square. And I'm also going to fold it this way to where those two folded corners meet up to where whenever we open it up we have this for the next step, if you have pencil colors at home and you have a white pencil color or something light that'll show up on your black paper, I suggest you use that. If not, you can totally use a pencil. It's just going to be a little harder to see. Now what we're going to do is we are going to draw some different designs and shapes from the edge of our paper into towards the middle and then back towards the edge. They can be um, organic shapes from your imagination or inspired by nature, or they could be geometric shapes. You can create objects if you want, like a leaf or a flower. But the idea is that we're gonna make sure that we're always starting at the edge of our black paper, going in towards the middle and then back down. And we're gonna do this on all four sides. So I'm gonna start here and do some designs going up this way, start here, go this way, start here, go this way, and so on. So I've drawn some very simple designs starting on the edge, going in towards the middle, and then coming back towards the edge. Now to make this more interesting, we're going to go in and add additional shapes inside of the shapes that we drew. Again, make sure that you're starting on the edge, going in towards your, the middle, and then coming back towards the edge. So if you watched the lesson on Kandinsky, we talked about concentric shapes. And a concentric shape is if you have a circle inside of a circle inside of a circle inside of a circle. So I used those concentric shapes on some of these. So like I had this big zigzag shape. And so I went back in with a zigzag inside of it, sort of a zigzag inside of a zigzag shape. Or a circle inside of a circle. Um, I did like this organic shape inside this half circle drew some simple rectangles, so just super simple lines and shapes. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to place our black square with the designs in the center of our paper, and using a pencil, you're just going to mark the corners where your black paper is. To mark the corners, I'm just going to trace the corner of my black paper onto my white sheet of paper. This is going to help me later in the gluing process and making sure that I know where my black paper goes. The next step is to cut. So I'm going to start on one side of my paper. I'm going to start with my biggest shape. So now that I have my shape cut out, I'm going to place my black paper back within its boundaries that I drew that I, when I traced the corners. And the idea is, is that if I place this back like a puzzle, you want to flip it open like a book. And this is how it's going to be glued. 
but I still have some shapes to cut out of this. So whenever I cut these tiny rectangles out, I'm gonna flip them the opposite way, again, like a book. So I have my large, my initial large shape cut out and I cut out all the rectangles. I'm going to line up my black square back within those marks that we made. And I'm gonna glue this large shape and the tiny shapes. I'm gonna leave my big square unglued because I'm still gonna go in and finish cutting. So I have my first shape glued and now I'm gonna go in and glue all the rectangles. I have this stuff glued. If I were to take my square off, this is what I've got. And you'll notice that all of my shapes kind of line up on this imaginary line. So that's what that book flip was. We had our black square, well, hello. We had our black square like this. Our first shape, this one, we took from here and then flipped it here. And then we took these shapes and then we flipped them back to where everything's still lining up. And I still have my corner marks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another side. So I completed the cutting and gluing for another side. So this is what I have now. And this is gonna fit right here. Once I'm done cutting, we're gonna glue that down. So I'm gonna keep going. So once you have all of your shapes that you drew on your square cut and glued, the last step is to go and glue your what's left of your square into its place. And make sure that you're using those little corner marks that you made to make sure that it ends up where it belongs. So now you have a completed no tan design. You should have created a balance of dark and light. And you can do this over and over and use different shapes and different designs and come up with a wildly different no tan design each time. I did another one earlier and this is what I came up with. So it's a lot of fun and you can get really creative and create some really cool designs and artwork. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and I will be back with another lesson really soon.